we've noticed this trend kind of over the last 10 years where it's been rising rates of alcohol associated liver disease in young adults so ages 25 to 34 and that has really been exacerbated by the pandemic with increased harmful drinking rates and increased binge drinking and particularly young women so Overall, you know, the rising rates of alcohol-associated liver disease have been paralleled by the rising rates of alcohol use disorder and harmful drinking. Moderate consumption is considered less than one drink for women a day, or less than eight a week, and less than two drinks a day for men, or less than 14 drinks a week. Harmful alcohol use is really anything above that. You know, if people are having a glass of wine with dinner once a night, that's probably not gonna lead to this kind of pattern that we're seeing but it's the more harmful drinking with more than seven drinks for men, uh, for women, more than 14 drinks for men a week that can lead to this. And binge drinking behaviors, which is more than four drinks for women or more than five drinks for men, that can also lead in and of itself to alcohol-related consequences. A lot of patients can develop something called alcoholic hepatitis. That's a severe inflammatory form of liver disease that can lead to death. Up to 45% of patients with this disease can die within a month. So if patients can reassess how much they're drinking and minimize the amount that they're consuming to a safe level, that would be great. But if they're not able to, then they need to reach out to their healthcare providers for assistance.